I just want to talk about my experience with racism in Ireland because it's still very much vivid here. Um, I used to work in, on George Street and yeah, I just saw racism all the time. Like customers, even though they're next, they wouldn't go up to my tail, they'd go up to the person beside me. It would be a white person. Um, correcting people and how to use self scans and help them. I got called this cheaper black for that. Um, drunk people coming in, ordering me to get them stuff. Can you like get me this, get me that? They would not ask the person beside me. So, yeah, racism is still very vivid in Ireland, and yeah, people are still very much ignorant. So my experience of racism in Ireland was when I was on the thirty nine A. Um, there was probably seven or eight people sitting upstairs. There was a man of colour who sat at the front of the bus and an Irish man who sat behind him. The man of colour was on the phone. He was speaking in a different language. He wasn't speaking in any way, shape or form loud. The Irish man then said to him, you're an N-word, you don't deserve to be here. If you want to speak on the phone in that language, then you should go back to your own country. He was probably just on the way somewhere and he was belittled by someone for no reason and interrupted his day. But Ireland isn't racist, right? Hey guys, my name is Chuck. Um, I'm from here in Navin, Ireland, <laughs> the one and only. And I think one of my key racial experiences here growing up uh, was when I was 15 years old. Um, there, I was on Facebook and there was this random guy just popped up to me, literally setting a conversation up by saying, what's up, nigger? Like, what's up, nigger? And then I said, what's up, wigger? Thinking that would have some effect on him, but clearly it didn't. I don't know why he said that. The guy just kept just kept on talking and talking and talking. And then he said to me, he said to me, oh, um, you guys should go back to your country that you're stealing all our girls. And I'm like, that makes no sense. How how are we stealing all your girls? Like, that? I don't get that. Like, I told my boy about it. Um, a few days later, we saw the guy. Um, then I... Because I was so annoyed with what he said, I was so angry. I wanted to confront him and actually beat him up. But because I had any problem, I didn't want any trouble. I decided, you know what? Let me not even bother with that. Let me not even. It's not. It's not. It's not uncalled for. Let me just leave it. But now that I think about it, I do wish I confronted him about it because little comments like that should not, should not, should should, should not be, should not be left um, unhanded. You know, no form of racist slur is tolerated. No matter what country you're from, no matter what ethnicity you are, it doesn't. It's not tolerated regardless. So that really did. Um, it really did um, pull it. Put, no, I would say scar me, but it really just made me realize that. Listen, even if people don't know you, they could just come at you and make any racial comments just because of how you look. It's a sad world we live in. It's a sad world. <laughs> Witness racism. One of the times was with my friends, um, Marina, Cynthia, and Ashley. We were driving down the road, listening to music, minding our own business, and we pull up at a traffic light, and this woman puts down her window and screams, fuck you, you black bitches. Unprovoked, minding her own business, my friends are being abused just because of the colour of their skin. But Ireland isn't racist. Alright, so growing up in Ireland, um, I've had a lot of racist encounters, but because I'm short of time, the main ones I can think of at the top of my head is I got egged for being black um, when I had my natural hair. People always, when I had my natural hair, always wanted to touch my hair for some reason. People would be like, oh, I didn't expect you to sound like that. Go back to your country, go back to Africa. Lastly, the last thing I'd like to comment on is that the comments I used to get were so disgusting. For instance, Shelly, you were born in the wrong body. Shelly, you're more white than black. Those comments are not okay. Should not be said. So since me and Rena have gotten into event management, Racism in Ireland and especially in Irish nightlife has become absolutely apparent. Um, we have been told out straight by numerous clubs that we don't host back events. Like, in this day and age, the 21st century, how can you outright say there's no beating around the bush? We don't do black events. I rang the police before to report um, an assault and when I gave the person's name to the police, it was it was a an African name, <clears throat> and one guard said, "Oh, it's a black guy," and I went, "Well, yeah," and he looked at the other guard and went like that, as if, "Well, what you'd expect." Um. So I have actually had a lot of racial encounters living in Dublin, being born and raised there. 
Um, I've had encounters being called racial slurs. Um, I've been asked do I know who my dad is. Uh, I've been asked which part of Africa am I from. Um, I've had situations where the end of my braids have been burned because my hair um, was referred to as ugly. My natural hair when I was a bit shorter, um, kind of being slagged through that, that I used to have to wear it up. Um, and you know, my accent doesn't fit my, my parents, so there's no way I could be Irish. Um, is Ireland racist? I have a brother that is two years younger than me. He has a Tanzanian father. We both share the same Irish mother. I never really saw the difference between us when we were kids. We used to play a lot in the park and stuff with loads of just different kids. And it took a little boy of like seven years of age to turn to my brother and call him the N-word. That's when I realized that we're not seen the same. People don't like him. The answer is yes. Ireland is racist and has been racist for the longest time. Yo, so my name is Dendo. Here's a quick instance of when I, I experienced racism with a friend. We're out on a night out on our way back to the car. A drunk, well, semi-drunk guy came up to us, uh, was asking for a lift and whatever. We said no. Um, he was like, oh, uh, this was only a test to see how Irish you guys are, but you guys will never be Irish. You guys are just some black lads who came from Africa to here, and you guys will never ever be Irish no matter what. So like, you know, no need. It's pretty stupid, but again, just another example of kind of people just looking at us because of our the color of our skin. Uh, because we're not white, we can never truly be Irish. And again, just the discrimination, just because, you know, we look different to them, you know, like they treat us different. I'm trying to record this for a while, but long story short. So I was working in this nightclub and then uh, one night we were very busy and the manager um, shout out loud, never trust a black person. And I was like, what? So I tried to bring that forward to the general manager and... The general manager was like, did he say that to you? No. So maybe it was just a joke. It was just like working under pressure. Of course I quit. So I could give you a lot of examples. I've seen it too many times and uh, it's sad that I have. But the example I give is my girlfriend. She's grown up being called the N-word, black this, black that. She's got it in school. She's got it walking about. She's got it on the way to work. She's got harassed at her house. Uh, the family car got burnt in their garden twice, as far as I know. Brick got thrown in through the kitchen window before, where the family always is. Just missed her head when she was only a little girl. Uh, probably would have killed her on impact or done serious damage. That's all just because they're a black family living in Ireland. My name is Katrina Holly O'Driscoll. I was told I was a good statistic because my name was Irish. I sounded Irish and I grew up in a predominantly white Irish household. I've been told I've been good looking for a black girl, but I'm not really black because I grew up white. But I've been also been told to go back to my own country because I don't belong here. I experienced racism all through secondary school. I got bullied day in, day out. I'm fully Irish. My mum is Irish. My dad is Irish. Um... I just got called every name under the sun, a terrorist, a Paki, you name it. All because my stepfather was Muslim. And now all my younger siblings, who are half Irish and half Muslim, get bullied really bad in school. For no reason whatsoever. It's 2020. This shouldn't be happening. So one of my worst racial racist experience was coming home from a night out. Last day was home. Fella hops on, sits right beside me. Starts asking me what country you're from, how long you're here, do you like it here, why are you here, do you not, do you, should not be with your own people, you should go back to wherever you came from. Niggers don't get respect around here. All you do is rob our world. Thanks, pal. Hi, um, so I'm just coming on to speak about my experience with racism in Ireland and... Uh, I always feel like people in Ireland have more of a passive aggressive kind of racism where it's like, oh, like, you know, I, o I always get the questions like, where are you from? And I'm like, oh, I'm Frisbee. And they're like, no, where are you from from? And I'm like, just ask me, like, <laughs> where's your heritage from? Do you know what I mean? But um, other than that, like, I have been called the N word a few times. Uh, being told to go back to my country is a huge one. Like that's, it's always the one that people go for.